All right, today we're going to talk about area of squares and rectangles. So let's start with some squares, which are just special rectangles. And what we know about a square is all the sides are the same. So if this side is 2, this side is 2, this side is 2, and this side is 2. So the area of a square is just side S squared. So what you do there, in this case our side is 2, so it's just 2 squared. So area is 2 times 2. That's what squared means. So our area there would be 2 times 2 is 4. And when you write your units, you need to make sure you use your centimeters, in this case, and put that little 2 on there saying your answer is 4 centimeters squared. Let's do a couple more examples of squares. So if our side length there is 4, and then here our side length will be um, 2 and 5 tenths. So area equals side squared, area equals 4 squared. So our area equals 4 times 4. So our area equals 16 centimeters squared. So same thing with the 2 and a half. Area equals side squared, area equals 2 and 5 tenths squared, so area equals 2 and 5 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths. So our area would equal, so our area equals 6 and 25 hundredths centimeters squared. Alright, so a rectangle. Now a rectangle, not all the sides are the same. So the area of a rectangle equals length times width. So let's give this some numbers. So 3 centimeter by 5 centimeter rectangle. So our area equals 3 times 5. So our area equals 15. And just like the square, you have your units centimeters squared. All right, so let's go over two more examples. So we've got two rectangles. The first one's a two centimeter by eight centimeter. So area equals length times width. Area equals two times eight. So two times eight is 16. So our answer is 16 centimeters squared. For the next one, we have four centimeter by four and a half centimeters. So area equals length times width. Area equals four times four and five tenths. So our area equals 18 centimeters squared.